Congrats, you just booked your flight to Zurich, Geneva, Basel or any other city in Switzerland and now you want to plan your trip? You have no idea where to go and all the guides are bad? Or maybe you're just too lazy to read any of them? Well, this video is just for you. It's super hard to pick a top 10 because Switzerland is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I mean, look at that. If you agree, hit the like button. If you don't agree, I mean, hit it too. I'm not gonna tell you stuff like the most beautiful places are Zurich, Geneva, Bern, blah blah blah. If I did that, the video would be over by now already. I'm gonna tell you some legit treasures. I will link the website to all these places in the description. Be sure to check them out. Note that the rank does not represent their beauty as they're all amazing in their own way. Number 10. These very famous mountain triplets, Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau, are part of number 10. The spot between the Mönch and the Jungfrau is called Jungfrau Joch. It's 3400 meters above sea level. You have a beautiful view onto the Aletsch Glacier, the largest glacier of the Alps. Every year, approximately 700,000 tourists visit this spot. It also has the highest transportation of whole Europe. Jungfrau Joch is located here. Check out one of my recent videos after, I'll link it in the description and on the top right edge. Number 9. Not too far from the Jungfrau Joch, we can find number 9. The Blausee, which translates to the Blue Lake. This small mountain lake has an area of only 6400 square meters, which is smaller than a regular standard soccer field. But it is probably one of the most beautiful lakes in Switzerland. Because the water enters the lake underground, it strikes with its clear blue color. Around the lake you can find a park for hiking, picnics and barbecues. You should definitely bring your Bratwurst, Servala and Schlangenbrot. Number 8. The next place is a village of 6,500 inhabitants. Engelberg. The village was founded in the year 1120 AD and is both a winter and a summer tourist spot. Engelberg is located in the canton of Obwalden and is located here. But it's in this list for the beautiful mountains all around Engelberg and the fun activities you can do there. Skiing, hiking, climbing, parachuting and many many more. Also, it has been the location of the last few fishermen strongmen run. Number 7. Want to have a great view over the old town of Bern? Want to read a book around lots of beautiful plants? Or do you want to just let your kids play on a playground? If so, the Rosengarten Park in Bern is just what you're looking for. Rosengarten means Rose Garden and it's located here. From 1765 until 1877, it was a castle graveyard. From 1917 until today, the park is open to the public plus a home to more than 450 flower species. The view is simply stunning. Number 6. Rigi, the so-called Queen of Mountains. Rigi is located between the Lake of Sug and the Fjerwaldstätter Lake. Cities nearby are Sug and Luzerne. The highest spot is about 1800 meters above sea level. In the early 1800s, the mountain became a famous tourist spot. The Rigi is well connected with two rack railway and multiple cable cars. Wellness, cheese tasting, horse-drawn carriage, sledging, hiking, have great meals with great view, all is possible up there. Number 5. The Couple Bridge is the landmark of Luzerne and one of the most visited tourist attractions in Switzerland. It's 205 meters long and only open for pedestrians. The Couple Bridge is the oldest wooden bridge in all of Europe. It's located right in the city center of Luzerne. Right next to it is the Firwaldstetter Lake. Be sure to take a selfie when you're there and use the hashtag couple selfie. Number 4. This beautiful natural rocky cirque is called Creux du Van. That's French by the way. This nature form structure is 1,400 meters long and 150 meters deep. It lays in the Swiss canton of Neuchâtel and no picture will be able to show its real beauty. It was formed by natural water erosion from a local glacier. The glacier is long gone. This spot is not a famous tourist place. Nonetheless, it's one of my favorites on this list. Number 3. The Chillon Castle, or also called Château de Chillon, is an island castle in the canton of Watt in the French part of Switzerland. It's located at the shore of the Lake Geneva, the so-called Lac Le Mans. Chillon is one of the most visited castles in Switzerland and Europe. 
Once upon a time, Castle Chillon was a Roman outpost guarding the road that went through the Alpine passes. It was dated all the way back to the year 1005 AD. There's a fee to enter. In front of the castle, you can find lots of parking spaces and also a bus stop. There have been multiple recreations of the interiors, including the grand bedroom, hall, and the cave. The underground dungeon, which is about as high as water level, is quite impressive. Number 2. Where is the largest waterfall in Europe located? Of course in Switzerland. The Rhine Falls. 15,000 years ago, during the Ice Age, an earth movement pushed the water to go another way. And so the Rhine Falls got created. It is 150 meters far. On average, there are about 370 cube meters of water going down there every second. Fish, for example, are not able to go up these massive falls. An exception to this is the eel. I recommend you having a boat tour and also checking out several viewpoints nearby. Last but not least, number one. Did you ever try this delicious chocolate called Toblerone? Maybe you've seen it at the duty-free shops when you landed in Switzerland. The mountain you see on its package is called the Matterhorn, and it's probably the most famous mountain in Switzerland. It was measured to be 4,500 meters above sea level. As a comparison, Mount Everest's peak is at 8,700 meters above sea level. It's located here. But don't worry, you won't get to climb all the way up there. Instead, travel to the famous city of Sermat and go up to the Klein Matterhorn, which is at 3,883 meters above sea level. You go up there by multiple cable cars, and seriously, the view is just amazing. Well, that sums it up for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 list. Make sure to check out my videos about number 10 and number 8. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it with someone who should go visit these places. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!